Hello everyone. Myself Dipanjali Kalita, student of fourth professional year of Lokhimpur College of Veterinary Science. Today, I am going to present about contagious ectema or ORF disease. So, let's start with introduction. So, what is contagious ectema? Contagious ectema is an infectious dermatitis of sheep and goats that affects primarily the leaves of young animal. And people are occasionally affected through direct contact. Synonyms. The disease is also known as ORF, contagious fustular dermatitis, sore mouth, scabby mouth, contagious vesiculopustular dermatitis, and infectious labial dermatitis. Now, etiology. The disease is caused by ORF virus under the family pox variety under the genus Pearpox. The ORF virus is a double stranded DNA virus. The causal Pearpox virus is related to pseudocowpox and bovine papillar stomatitis. Parapox viruses are indistinguishable from each other under the electron microscope but can easily be distinguished by negative strain electron microscope from other larger pox viruses that are brick shaped with irregular short surface filament. There are two interchangeable form of orb viruses that is type 1 or mulberry form which show ball of wool appearance and type 2 or capsular or clear form due to its more permeable envelope so the smooth surface without pattern coming to epidemiology contagious ectema is found worldwide and is common in young lambs reared artificially and in older lambs during late summer and during winter in feedlots in india the disease has been reported in imported adult russian merino sheep in the regional sheep research center then mode of transmission in naturally occurring cases the virus enters the host through abrasion on the skin of the leaves and face the virus can be transmitted to the udder of she goat or used by clinically affected suckling kids or lambs scab act as a source of disease transmission and susceptible host it is primarily a disease of sheep and goats but the disease has been recorded in other hosts like musk ox reindeer mountain goat Begun sheep and alpacas. Coming to pathogenesis, the virus is highly epitheliotropic and the lesions are produced on the nostrils and commissor of the lips. In some cases, the virus may affect the skin and mucosa of other parts of the body like thighs, axillary, coronet, vulva, or other. In acute form, the virus may invade the gastrointestinal tract, lungs, and heart where a mortality rate to the extent of 18% may be noted. And clinical finding. The initial sign of the disease are dullness, depression, anorexia, and rise of temperature varying from 106 to 108 degree Fahrenheit. There is profuse salivation, lacrimation accompanied with mucoporolent nasal discharge. There is congestion of nasal and buccal mucosa with appearance of nodular eruption on oral commissure, lips, mouth, and nostrils. Lesions may be found in tongue and gum. Lesions are followed by papules, vesicles, pustules, and ulcer in 3 to 4 days. And scape is formed within 1 week and peel of the skin within 4 weeks. Depending on the degree of secondary infection, regression of the lesion takes place and complete resolution takes place in 28 days. In mild cases, the disease is febrile and self-limiting. In some cases, there is proliferation of epithelium occur and a ward like outgrowth appear. Now, lesions. The primary lesion develops at the mucocutaneous junction of the lips and around erupting incisor teeth and may extend to the mucosa of the buccal cavity. Occasionally, lesions are found on the feet and around the coronet, where secondary bacterial infection with dermatophilus congolensis commonly causes strawberry foot rot. The figure shows the strawberry foot rot disease. And use nursing infected lamps may develop lesions on the teeth extending onto the other skin. Then the lesions develops at the as pupils and progress through vesicular and pustular stages before encrusting. And coalescence of numerous discrete lesions often leads to the formation of large scapes. And the proliferation of dermal tissue produces a verrucous mass under them. When the lesions extend to the oral mucosa, secondary necrobacillosis frequently develops. 
during active stages of infection more severely affected lambs do not eat normally and lose conditions extensive lesions on the feet causes lameness mastitis sometimes gangrenous may occur in use which lesions on the teeth in first and second picture there is leaf crust in lamb the third picture shows proliferative orphan sheep and the fourth picture shows orphan goat coming to diagnosis the disease can be diagnosed based on characteristics clinical finding animal inoculation test fluorescent antibody test agarose precipitation test complement fixation test and electron microscopy now differential diagnosis sheep pox contagious ectema disease must be differentiated from sheep pox in sheep pox crust are soft and presence of generalized pox lesions in the skin and viscera but in off there is absence of pox lesions in widespread skin ulcerative dermatosis of sheep in this disease the lesions are ulcerative while in contagious ectema the lesions are proliferative foot and mouth disease contagious ectema has to be differentiated from foot and mouth disease by the absence of foot and tongue lesions and the etiology is also different treatment there is no specific treatment of the disease so the treatment is symptomatic course of systemic antibiotics may be required when secondary bacterial infection is suspected application of 5% copper sulfate solution after removal of scab has been suggested fly repellent should be used where fly is the problem control strict hygiene and sanitary measures should be adopted affected animals should be segregated from rest of the flock veterinarians and sheep handlers should exercise reasonable protective precaution and wear disposable gloves live vaccine has been used in number of countries but till date no commercial vaccine is available in india these are the references thank you everyone